Fight Roy Galeer Stach Gudi Kjolkorm Koshtine. Te Kushkul me done so? Well, she and Kjedu Kushno Gorbisho Shacht and Nagrelia. The fear is Kaikish Nagrelia in our year of the Hion. There's that many Imachti or Shul during Shacht and Nagrelia. It has stretched beyond on Kaikish Ganglain Gachenia Shacht and Nagrelia air. So look, Ta Ohasar Maro, it does up Boyla, Gwil Mara Shobernach. And so, if you got Nagrelia, let Corda for Gloria, I guess, Irme or Moira, couple of fuckle raw. Gormil Mahagut Pesh, I guess, Gormahagut as Quira, her heart dumb, a vehen sawing over, because her an aha sorum a vehen saw, done o card untach shock, your old cush tinna. I guess, for while I'm covard, I guess, a raw, le re magra, I guess, le corda and a shanori for a bort lariga, a dagrig on o card shaw, the hacht and Nagrelia, a hashig huntach. Slow a bra more yeshkent and sucking yov, agus habe exul gomor lishen gyol, agus an aura niacht, agus an shenachus a vigle tacht, agus ha ahasorum mar ifigach gailinge, takiach the heart, the no card shaw, agus mar dermarish, trace liam liv galeer, as ha should go home to her fad. Gormila Mahagat Moira. Well, look, take who is going to meet on Sohan Echer. Um, the ling on lockdown, the V, uh, town inichina, egg re magra. He had a brainwave. Gamelch Cholchurmacha, a Koshtine Egagahainia, and Vin Portokle, common Nashanori, Ishtigan Sahavort Larige. So Ray and others had a thought that maybe it was opportune to have concerts by the fire. Ni Rever or Gomas Chaklekele, Toshkan Lockdown of a Hell. Vi Gahainia Rawling, Gave Shulamach, Dama for Shul Nobby, a kind kind of a kindly. Whenever you go, if you go out, don't talk to anybody. I don't know what they thought we were going to do, but er, the lion, the the Changaval, a chart. I guess it's us on dual shind on Changaval dinra. I thought deep yestig in a high you going. Go ask her on the kill for a mukasho. Um, the mehen part of him, the slua more part of the kill for mukakena. We had a fine crowd uh, interacting with us when we were doing. The concerts by the fire. So here we are now. Ton lockdown kriyachne. Ton solus etchacht is federling. Um, is federling on tauchi eschkent. Agus is federling gahainya dolamach. Agus Tommy done saw some Greenway Manor Hotel. Con kelura a yenif. Er on roda ha idar lahar a going. Sheshin changavoil le gahainya. Now, kelnus na 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 hemachti ita going. I guess I thought it or love a grey ox me hain. Thought thought rolling and Tommy did a dulling lake, rolling a gunnerter self ageism. So on roda thought for who agunya in your I guess I get gachanya or darnish. Go or fader the gachanya at all these morning shaska. A dulling lake lish on sale. Dearach Marianne or nor the nor nor elder shaska. You know we're we're at that we're not over the hill yet moment. It's fair to like it's fair to like a high end dulling like the ruddy August lech on sale August in Yuv kihi ga high end Goldini own Gold at all all the cana Kjol a giant scale to ancient Dawn to a raw Shanna scale to a raw Gachay and Rod of Winning the tradition the great everything that is just sunk deep into the psyche of Irish tradition is here today so. Um, uh, Tracy McInerney, or Tracy, how uh, Vichy can't live dear Sutter Hussig on uh, on Kjolkurum. I guess Irma Tracy couple of fuckle a raw anish. Took a Tracy Anakit Coward doing. He's been she give her a governor to Laurelin. I guess uh, took a she Anakar Mara Dort may le, le an older person's council. So Tracy, just tell us what you do for the older person's council. Well, we have the older people's council have been absolutely brilliant to the library. Uh, during COVID, we had the call to chat, and that was another brainchild of uh, Ray McGrath. Ray McGrath came to us on the day one of lockdown and said, uh, This would be an ideal service that people would like. And we said, Okay, Ray, no bothers. And this is the library always does this yeah. kind of responds. You know, people ask, we respond we, if we can do it. And we had about 111 people, uh, you know, calling us during that time. And I'm still talking to a woman in Wexford uh, via the uh, call to chat. And um, it's Anne, so do you agree with Anne? I'm sure she'll be looking on here. 
and um, we also have the we linked up with the Older People's Council, Healthy Ireland and Waterford Libraries uh, for an exhibition and a photographic exhibition and a photographic uh, competition and we have the photographs up again in the library in Arkeen because they were so nice we put them up there for the whole summer and um, and then we took them down but we had RTE recently in um, in the library so of course we had to put on a good show our and, uh, yeah, yeah our well else, yeah <laughs> okay well look most fader ling inish shot bull with the right glitch on yolk worm we will start the concert uh, proper all of the people that you will see performing today thy gelair uh oskon shaska ach ni staden shishin eid doesn't stop them uh, or it open the concert with kathy desmond so today I'm going to play the Coolan, one of the rich uh, bardic tradition of Irish airs and perhaps the most popular air and the one that I, is most, I'm most often um, asked to play. And today I'm going to play it on viola, which is a little deeper than the violin. <laughs> Now, Cathy, you and I go back a long way. Indeed, we do. <laughs> Indeed, we do. Yeah, August, we thought Kermahagomer and made, you know, and made Ibra August Roddy a hot gem to go down the hill. Time to go out like you, the father. You're at the music forever. But Indeed, uh, I, you know, I'm a reared in Waterford and, uh, since, you know, since my teenage years, you were going to be made Dale Gorey. Yeah. Uh, we may, you know, um, uh, uh, immersed in musical matters yeah. and, and of course uh, like Maeve I was a student of Vinton O'Carroll's and yeah. we were thrown into everything so we had wonderful I think looking back we had the most wonderful kind of musical experience in that we were exposed to everything like I mean the oratorio once a year you know Messiah yeah. Samson Elijah then we were thrown into the pit you know to play for shows and happy days kind of vamping away to Vini's opera you had your own music school at one stage in, well, indeed, well, indeed, yes, I, I, I've, I've sort of been teaching, I suppose, now since, yeah, for the, but the last three decades. Yeah, and, that's, uh, a, that's a fair, fair indeed, amount of time. Yes, indeed, and, I, and I'm still involved in teaching, and I'm the string teacher And in you're Wamba. still playing. You're, you're a, you're, um, you have a, a little um, group of Keolog with... Um, Kind of send him the, the Marion Inglesby. Oh, indeed. Uh, yeah, Tommy, the Duo Frizzante. Well, that is a great uh, yeah, name. Yeah. Duo Frizzante. <laughs> a name to conjure with. 
<laughs> so where did you get it? Well, do you know something? I think, uh, I, I, I suppose we were looking for something kind of, uh, you know, sort of frothy and fizzy Exotic. and, you know, sort of fun. Yeah. And we were trying to convey that sense. And I thought of it just in a, mo in a moment. And had I realised it was going to be kind of, you know, yeah. sort of uh, it's referred to, I might have thought a bit more about it. But I just we wanted something to kind of convey that it was a sort of light-hearted duo. The VQ Hurm, Sor Hurm, gave a yench of Snagardini left Katie at her. Yes. It is done fishing. Well, um, the she, uh, culture night, uh, you know, ten uh, culture night. Yes. Um, uh, a rash got bleen. Yeah. Because Dana be ear ear me kind of rod egg and a yen of the culture night. Yes. So um, I um, was looking for a kind of a venue, and as you know, we were well. still limited to kind of performing outdoors. And uh, fortunately, the Lafcadio Hearn Gardens uh, uh, made their garden available to us, and they have the most wonderful yeah. gazebo pad, and they put up the gazebo. Yeah and they have weddings and everything and we were as cosy and, and toasty underneath that gazebo it was a very did, special event it was wonderful we did we chose a program of words and music that was um, connected with a garden theme yeah and everything had you know it we did autumn leaves and monastery yeah. garden and all that sort of one thing. of the things people don't know in general is that you're a you're a, a critic in your own right you write the most brilliant opera Critiques. Oh, you're too Nobody kind. Nobody does it better than you oh, do, Cathy. Oh, gosh, praise indeed from the the Cathy uh, writes, critic, Cathy writes the for the Examiner of and critics. for the Irish Times, I think, as well. <laughs> well, actually, I don't. I haven't ever contributed to the Irish Times. All right. But, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I certainly I am a contributor to oh, the well, Irish Times. Well Examiner. done, you. I have read it, and they're excellent. Thank now, you, Pat. Um, we're going to move on, Cathy. Mm -hmm. You have a song, I think, to sing for us, have you? Indeed, Pat. Well, as you say, you and I go back a long we time. We do indeed. And oh, indeed, oh, uh, uh, is Queen. Um, er, ma, ma saura, so Kalosh the Narina. Kalosh the Narina. And <laughs> when uh, who made shoes like like every like a lot of people, oh, yeah. I, I spent summers saura so Kalosh the Narina, and where a, a young teacher called Paddy Bon. That's think, right, well, yeah, Paddy Bon. We used to refer to you as, and you know, I, I've sort of gone back to my store of songs that I learned in those excellent uh, uh, classes. I bet Mahona Creek taught you this one, did he? Do you know something? I'd love to say I could remember who taught. I would love to say it was you thought it was me, but I, 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 I can't. So would I, but it wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't think okay, we'll bang on yeah. with it, Cathy. All right. Anyway, it is a little song, and I'm going to change my instrument now this time. And uh, the song that I have for you today is uh, a song that I learned years ago in Kalosh the Naringa, in the Kalosh the Sara. And it's the first time I have sung this in about how many decades, I'm not going to say. But it's called Aishin Dantation Na Winen Shin Do. It's my brother.
gan ar y gan eid o gan bol at nas do. Wel ma ta mis y sost y ma con i ym cro. Car eisiau'n gan teisiau nac mwyn yn sy'n do. Ma ta mis y sost y ma con i ym cro. So here I am with two legends of traditional <laughs> music in the Dacia. Bert Leach, the Fienschgelt and uh, Keol in the Dacia, Tom Ackie, Jerry Madden, I guess Beg Jerry, Beg and Bert Lads Egg Shine Doing. Tom, you're an extraordinary man. Inildor, Bonishdor, Kaharok, Baldor, Etilor. This fellow, Jerry, I don't know how you live with him. I know. It's All difficult. those. Yeah, yeah, man, of, <laughs> man of flight, his own plane, and sails off to, uh, to France uh, and brings back all the duty free, but we never get it. Um, <laughs> Jerry, I hope you have been fortunate enough to get the, uh, get the duty free. Lads, you met in, 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 in Mount Sainz. Yeah, 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 we did. Kunokshi and the Shaskadi. The Shaskadi, or the Mahena. The I guess our hosting on Kyol and so on. The, yeah, the music started yeah, there, Jerry. Shine Kyol, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess. Kind of hosting on vertical bay, give it a shine and Well, I suppose in more recent years, uh, the two of us started playing a bit together, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been enjoying it. You, you were, Jerry, you were David's revised. Yeah, you over the Miller's years. Marsh. <laughs> yeah. Marsh, I suppose, the proper pronunciation. Yeah, Miller's Marsh. And now you're yeah. the lonesome hobo with all that bluegrass stuff. That's right, that's right. Okay, it's great to see you, lads. What do you intend, what do you intend to play? Well, sure. When Mission 3 and Loss uh, found Mull, uh, Slow Air, the. Um, Goes back to the 1700s. Uh, there was a famous monster poet, uh, Andreas McGrath. Oh, yeah. He uh, was known as a monger suaguk, uh, which is, I suppose, the jolly peddler. But he was actually a school teacher. Yeah. And uh, he fell out with the parish priest because of his fondness for drink and the uh, women at the locality, <laughs> and he was banished and uh, to the far end, the Limerick, the eastern end. And uh, he wrote this particular air. Uh, sort of lamenting the loss of his home place. Yeah. So it's called Slán Le Moy. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. it's the Meg River that flows yeah. through uh, mm -hmm. Limerick. So, uh, <coughs> sure, we know my Right, in your own time, that's it.
Well, I feel I'm in the presence of writing royalty here. Nilina or Svesha, Catherine Foley, Orskeli, Van der Schrieff and Telefish, been to our Sunday Miscellany Gach Dara Delnach, Phila, Agus Lera Hor Telefish, Anachid Anachid stuff Dianta got la la lang the hail Agus la 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 lang on Schrienorach the. Ta kugle kenusach the filiach the Agut. Fi me geistig er an Delnach le kion er Sunday Miscellany Agus dear me ort e live. The, the red kettle, the kettle, on kettle, kettle. Darug, no, huh? Just on kettle. On yeah. kettle, yeah. I guess it's just, it's dawn awning. This is the most beautiful poem about a kettle and the love of a mother and the care that she gives to her daughter. It's a sharp poem, but yeah, I asked Margaret. Catherine especially to read it. Yeah, Gurumago three and or, uh, Pat. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, poem, it, it said uh, it happened in Barrick Strand below Geneva Barracks, and I was only thinking lately. I often think, when is the hap- when does hap- was I happiest in my life? And I think these days, when I was there as a child in Barrick Strand. So um, here it is on Kittel. Um, Scohana father exchina idro bon the spera, antida troita, fuach na hiha ek channeling, balian ma water clocha, crohean she kirkle, lean on she la crevoga e, I was curtain she am kittle in a he and loser shin, a hoin dove daughter, a cohramuga kyotahan, go corahon of mar assel. Agus amach o cwrtkyl ffohna na glocha lia, agus yn anion na lohna, to sy'n lasraca ag rhaincha sy'n fiohan. Te'n mahar, cwna hila bata i'n aol dan tina. Ta mi'n sôta ag maerach dan vrochu, gan meran agla varaf graim o'ring. Nach mer oi gan tishka, gan ym oi gan tina, gan ne loi gan la, agus gwyl blas na greina a sgiwa o'n ar gracan. So I'll read it here in English. The kettle. Long shadows stretching away towards the horizon, the tide gone out, the chill of the night moving in. My mother gathers stones and makes a circle. She fills it with twigs and puts the kettle on this. It sits giddily like a donkey, its black arse wobbling. And out from that sheltered circle of grey stones, and in spite of the breeze, the flames start to dance in the gust. My father goes to gather more sticks for the fire. We are tight together in the joy of the heat, until a deathly fear takes a grip of us, that the water won't boil, that the fire will go out, that the day will disappear, and that the heat of the sun is disappearing from our skins. Basically, for the Vahain, it's sort of Bahesh Neshe, but it's not completed because Tonto Rogue Falls. Tonto Rogue Falls. Yeah, but um, this book was named Best uh, Book uh, of the Year by me in the Watford News and Star for the Green Room Awards. <laughs> and I the had brown, it with, you got the brown envelope. I got the brown envelope, but. Uh, <laughs> I read this book on my holidays and I literally couldn't put it down. And when I stopped, I started all over and I read it again. Oh, so, and that poem, that you, the poetry that you read, I had that book beside me when I was in hospital a couple of years, I had a back operation. That book was beside, it brought me great joy and comfort. Thanks, thanks, Pat. Okay, yeah, so look. Great. Okay, well, I'll read the first, because I read this in uh, Jordan's pub at Blues, Booze, Blaz and Banter a couple of years ago, and it got a great reaction. So if you know the rhymes I'm about, it's called Games We Used to Play When We Lived in Lower Newtown in Waterford City. So if you know them, join in. And the book, my lovely assistant, my sister, will be uh, has them for <laughs> sale there. So anyway, games we used to play. To get to our street of Lower Newtown from the city centre, you had to pass over the pill, a small tributary of the River Shore. You'd go up towards the old infirmary and on to the top of John's Hill. Then you turn left onto Percy Terrace and down you came to Lower Newtown. We lived across from the Christchurch National School, which we all refer to merely as the Protestant School. Our street was made up of young families mixed in with some elderly neighbours. We played with all the neighbouring children, but especially the Chesters and the Keens. Games always started out in a nice, civilised fashion. 
If someone had a bit of chalk and a couple of stones, we'd play hopscotch along the footpath. Or if we had two small bouncy boy balls, we'd play a game up against a wall, each of us taking turns to throw the balls against the wall, all the time singing out our verses as quickly as we could in time to the smack of the ball. Dash it, Mrs. Brown, dash it, Mrs. Brown, dash it, dash it, dash it, dash it, dash it, Mrs. Brown, over Mrs. Brown, over Mrs. Brown, over, 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 over Mrs. Brown. Whoever played had to maintain a certain rhythm and have good hand-eye coordination, moving deftly to catch one ball and throw the other until one of the balls dropped. The rest of us would wait, biding our time until an opening appeared. Then we'd step in quickly for a turn. When it was my turn, I'd jump into the space and have a go. All eyes watched jealously, waiting to see when or how soon I dropped the balls. When I did, the next girl was ready to push me out. I'm next, she'd cry, and elbow me away. We had plenty of verses to accompany this game against the wall. Sometimes we'd, we'd all sing together like a Greek chorus gathered around the main player. Sometimes the ball juggler alone would recite the lines. When I am dead and in my grave and all my bones are rotten, these two balls will tell you my age when I am quite forgotten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and now I'm on my second game. And that was how the day would tick by. There was always an audience when we played with the skipping rope. The group would stand in a tight circle and chant out the rhythm, sometimes clapping out the beat too in a taut count time, a countdown. Everyone counted the successful skips. I look back on those days in Waterford through the Zoe Tope of time, and I remember how we were when we all longed to do, when all we longed to do was to jump into the middle and skip to the growing beat of the pack and the elegant belt of the rope. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tip the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn all around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tie your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Teddy bear, teddy bear, pick up sticks. Teddy bear, teddy bear, switch off the lights. The stakes were high. The rhyme ruled and you were sure to trip if you lost the pulse. Breathless, we'd jump with the arc of the rope swinging over us and with the space underneath our feet getting tighter. As the rope went faster, it slapped down like a metronome against the stones on the road. The most difficult and best part was when a few of us skipped together as one, jumping over the rope and ducking our heads under, our bodies held in together, our feet pulled up as the rope swung over us. When as many of us could fit, eight sometimes or even more, all jumped together under the one arc, singing the chant, breathless, the great slap of our feet together on the footpath and the jostling of elbows was magnificent. In Waterford our streets rang with the drumbeat of half-truths, messages and hidden taboos. Our games were threaded with snippets of adult stories, something that was likely repeated throughout the country. Even the Clancy brothers with Tommy Makem on an album they recorded in Carnegie Hall in 1963 sang about the chants they used to sing in Carrie Conchura's children. Ahem, ahem, me mother's gone to church. She told me not to play with you because you're in the dirt. It isn't because you're dirty, it isn't because you're clean, it's because you have the hoop and cough and eat margarine. <laughs> <laughs> Although only children, we in Lower Newtown were cruel sometimes, viscerally caught up in the packed dynamics of our street games. It was out and out war when enmity between one patch and another erupted. One night after being assailed by a marauding horde from Alphonse's Road, we faced the group down in the laneway behind <laughs> Percy Terrace, moving as one tribal and territorial unit towards them. Some of us threw stones to repel them. We were living viragos, unafraid and shaking with excitement. It was the same principle as skipping. You couldn't miss the beat. You stepped up when your turn came. My ankle was pumping blood when I got home that evening. When my mother opened the front door, I practically fainted into her arms with the excitement and the fright of our skirmish. I still bear this tiny scar from that stone on my ankle today, and it reminds me of how I was once, territorial and driven by the beat of balls and feet and a skipping rope. So, Garamil <laughs> Tom and Shalda Jerborn and Agastad Jericho, our own Akana, got to be 
Countless the how Ryan is all in it. Dor Hulame Reeb. This must be one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard. Your, would you like to introduce a, say a little bit about it? Yes, it was. Um, I, I had to, as they say, wiki it, which is great yeah. because we can now go and find all this <laughs> knowledge, which may not always be correct. But um, yeah, so I looked up uh, about the song. The first time I came across the particular song was I was a member of Cor Okala, which is right, in yeah. Yol, yeah. and we sang it many times, uh, even in the Oireachtas at one stage yeah. in Dublin, and um, it was beautiful, beautiful yes. melody. And of course, the, the, the whole thought behind it is that this Waterford man, O'Malley, yeah. Podrick, Podrick O'Malley, yeah. yeah, O'Malley, from the the that particular area, the Comer is not me yeah. down, yeah. So uh, he uh, wrote this. Uh, he was uh, in the coal mines, yes, and he was always lingering for the beautiful um, homes, homes, and the lands. Yeah, yeah. Schlieve yeah. Galgo and Afel, one of the most beautiful. Fela, yeah. And Schlieve Goa is a, an area north of uh, Dungarvan. Um, it's actually mentioned in the Fenech, it's in the Fenech Fe 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 uh, cycle of Beilidus that's there, it goes right back to pagan times almost, Shlia uh, Goa, and it does a sort of an instinctive sense of duchus about Shlia Goa. You know, I've been to own, you know, take it to a the Vehe de Gael, I guess, the Vehe de Deshach, you know, to hear some Shlia Goa. So look, share in your own yeah. time, okay? Yes. Thank you. Oh, 
time trail tug on free. A couple of demigracles, my lungs a sheer Seamus Olyano, Ashtor, Stuart Hort Ramiafta, Agus Homalashin, Kionis Nashkel, as far in Erin. The Voigt to a score, Mas Kindlum. Voigt to a score. Agus, and Agus Voigt to a hand score. Sanaharu Shorach, yeah. Sanaharu Shorach. Me fein, Agus to fein, Agus Ladella on Shana Fobolche, Deglon Train. Yeah, Declan Terry, yeah. Declan Terry, yeah. Um, I know we 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 score the hunt uh, we we around the national blind to. Sure. Because we 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 uh, an us from the the hunt. Yeah. Try to arrive we an a an a an a good dinner or Fort Laurie a bunch part on the score. We listen to my will she will on meet some dinner or some some chat there for longer. So look, talk about the Faraties and Booty House. Yeah. Big a Booty House or shoe. Big and Bully House are shown Lola Padraig. Yeah, is she caught? Orkland Riga. Orkland Riga, the Theatre Royal in Port Lauriga, yeah. Don Cado Reeve. Sure. Right? Marhan Bully House are shown the Fehkuig de Vlienta in Mali Riff. Yeah, that's Agam, yeah. Here for Port Lauriga. Here for Lauriga. Belly Duff, yeah. Belly Duff. I guess Homi Down Gach Saura. Can we do a part of him? So we'll have a better Shesco dinner. Really? Yeah, well, how long is it? It's Dean Oga. Sure. She says she's called Teori Oga and August Ryan Curry. Oh, yeah, Ryan Curry. Ryan Curry. August Beard Sun Galer in in the Comorta Shim or Frishing. Oh, yeah. Well, if they go chask it in there and start you, get on the other. No, 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 no. Chakaro, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the other. I'm going to go to the other. I took to a store or gloom go gloom. Yeah, uh, you have that storytelling uh, tradition, haven't you? Well, so look, the Vishag Mahar anyway. Sure. Hug she dumps a store. I guess Jenny Darney Hill. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's a great new comer. A great new comer. Sure. So, there's Mary the Bridge. Where is she? There she is there. And Johnny, her boyfriend. How she the dollar machinish? Her fag fair hair bleem. There's no ditch no 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 dike that they haven't rolled in. It's talk of the wheel fish again. The natural things. <laughs> oh Johnny, says she, do you think we should marry? I guess Don listen first, Sugar do you think we should marry? And put an end for all time to this fooster and fuss. You're a Mary, says he, sure you must be near Dorothy. Who do you think would marry? Either of us. <laughs> Nick Connor was noted, he was a devil for the drink, and he was warned by his wife going to town. Law, got a dead law, no, to be sure to go into confession. I guess Cook Cheshtach, I guess he'd make a rev a hain on dinner, sir. He was standing at the, the, the door of the, the public house as Ned, Ned was passing down, and you said to him, Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, he go count the one. I will not say that I'm after promising the wife that I'm going to go to confession. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. And we say, she gave the fag, it's all for a clig, no coup lor a clig. And it's hard to say, mach. And we say, she is so strong, Marcia, and he was kind of up against the wall like that for a while. And he saw the little goldy cross on the top of the gate. She said, gather on, on tape hail. And he went into the shape hail and he slided in along the seat as the other people were making towards the confession box. <laughs> well, quite she stuck in the bus, I guess we had a sour approach to a hand. We threw sticks and tape hail on the other side. And you know, there was an awful lot of people feeling the shandine. I guess we either galore or my stick, they were an awful long time. We stick some muscle, 
is toch een goed fijne beestje. Peter. 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 And he got drowsy, and he nodded off. And it was the clatter of the shutter coming across quick that woke him up. The same again, he said. <laughs> <laughs> the same again, he said, and I turned on the light in the snug. <laughs> <laughs> when they was after buying this small little pony, again, Enoch, in Tullach and Earring, he go on the gothel. And he was after small, buying this small little couple anyway. I guess we can't be a I guess we can't be a couple of churns of milk here. I guess we share taxi as he was coming down this kind of a steep road one morning down to the creamy hills and Kyle be the on. And whatever kind of a slip the pony gave, she went down her two knees like that. And the calf capsized where she could she tangle her shin, I guess, be Ned. Tab here, then, no, 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 no fire calf. Eh, eh. I guess Hani didn't move, Martha Mackey. I guess Hogshay and Cart he took the cart off of him. And whatever kind of a blunt he gave to a nerve in the cup of his hip, he couldn't control the movement of his leg. Look, me, he couldn't control the movement of his leg. So, Tom Mackey, let's come and to a hearty doctor. So, Hani, Tom, I guess fish, they should have my shoes, Dr. Doctor. This coach is Dr. Doctor, anyway. Because it's bad doctor we are. Stop! 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 So, we train up in my dawn, Gri Podlaria, Achir Hoche, Kuchet, and Boha. We took off down the road like that, and he went into the hospital anyway, and speech HD, and he went to see a consultant of HD. I started with such a consultant. I don't know what I was here. Now, which is a fear, Mark? Oh, sure. Right, and the stopping consultant, Lesh, Kahme Tossa. Katu Fanachton so an hospital, er fag me, man, Nilis Gum, Katakalis, Katakalis, the Rehar, Agus Dorche, come and see and so, Agus, how poor Bridges, a mile, oh, fish and lonely, not red before Bridges, a mile, Agus Kurshi letter, quick Bridge here or to Bridge, and he said, I miss you, Bridget. Oh. And I miss the brown bread. <laughs> and the pot under the bed. Oh. And I start going to the garden of the pot under the bed, my dear father. I'm not going to go to On your own, right, On your own, no. We were having a long time. I'm not going to go On your own, no. Well, to be regarded as the unsweet of the time. <laughs> And Bridgie wrote a little bit letter back to me. She said, Ned, she said, you won't miss me long more, for I'm going up to see you Friday. And you won't miss the brown bread, for I'm bringing two big cakes of it with me. Oh. And Ned, she said, as for the pot under the bed, you always miss that. <laughs> Peter Dolomach, Peter, Peter Schulemach, Ned, it's Bridgie, it's Peter Schulemach, had the bleed And he finally proposed, you know. He finally proposed and he said, Come in, come in, law more, a vanish at that going. We're going to have a big wedding day. He stick some uh, Austin and Devonshire, the new Devonshire Arms Hotel. So he went in and he was talking to the manager inside the one store. And you know, he was very, very, very a kind man on the price and the galere, but then dang air, it was in coal, it was got for the machine. And this now will be about back in the last recession, my dear fellow. And the one store said to my sports Ned, he said, uh, You'll be looking for the bridle. Yeah. <laughs> she knows what I mean, though. I suppose Ned will be looking for the bridle. I will not, so say I'd rather do the old way. <laughs> right. For the post, anyway, for the post, anyway, I guess 
bi la untach na banesha ko aga spi kyol ko aga spi dausa ko aga spi tu fena na re of is of bi 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 tu fena i guess hani chegri ni ha and of course you know bridge she was she was getting anxious <laughs> <laughs> Never back e Hawan, you see, down here one night. So she was kind of anxious to go upstairs to go to some style. So she did, but then said, Can I should have stopped in snug on her pionta Hawan Ella Um? So he went in and he came out. I think he met Pat inside again and he got there. A couple of them he came out and he made his way up the stairs. Could you so some style machine? I guess Knaut Sharon Doris. I guess Oscar Doris. Chambre and Chambre Lapham anyway. And there was Bridgie <laughs> sitting on the bed with her hat, her coat and a pair of woolly gloves on. <laughs> and he said, Bridgie, what's wrong with you? Oh. Which is like this net, she said. My mother told me that on the wedding night that you were going to go to town. <laughs> I Christ, if you want to tell me, I'm going with you. <laughs> well, sure, they, they, they got on. I'm, I'm not going to tell at all, says Ned. I'm here to get what's what. <laughs> what's that, says Bridget? Kadesh, 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 what's what? Neither Misha says, 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 Told me Rahal and that he got what's what the night at the wedding. <laughs> My brother told me that he get. Did you get what's what? Tonight? <laughs> <laughs> did you get what's what the night at the wedding? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'll be my kind to be my kind to shine the van a gap of hanging or a wall. I guess uh, we should start to refresh. Oh, to blame the ish better. I guess told me Mary. A fourth of what's what Ian Vanisha. Did you get what what the night of the wedding? You don't go away, boy. She said I got what what before the night of the wedding. <laughs> but anyway, look, we 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 have owned a car. I guess we the you know they were looking for what what anyway. You see, I guess two bridgey car will share a car car will what what share a car. Never misses. Bad bad this is never going to share sticks and wardrobe. I guess going to share stuff in wardrobe is never share sticks and some a car. I guess honey chair mah. I guess the bridge is less. Where the good shit? Here's got a fine lava. Maybe it is under the bed. I guess could she have stuck fine lava here and under the bed? No respect, you know, when he was coming out. Do you know, I've never done springs long go on the bed. You do. <laughs> she does. She does. Uh, the, the springs long go on the bed long go, and he was coming out. Fish attacked the mach, and then the car, the bis pajamas get caught. <laughs> In one of the springs of the bed. And his pajamas fell down. And Bridgie said, What's that? <laughs> and he said, What's what? <laughs> and Bridgie said, You had it all the time. Well, we may show on Shanachi own Tachabian, I guess, Bulmelech Kubla, Urmta, now Eamon of Calic. Eamon Kelly. I guess I'll share the game for a big game and they're banned on, on Taman, right? So the Taman put up with her husband and wife in a single roomed house in which there was only one bed. And he wouldn't have put up in that house at all that night, only for that it was so wet and so stormy he couldn't get to his own lodgings. So he put the pony into a makeshift shed that was at the side of the house and he came into the kitchen just as the wife. She was a bit like herself. She was baking all day. <laughs> and she was just after taking a lovely cake of bread out of the oven. Oh, oh, the lovely aroma that was after that cake. You could see the tamer. It's feather lap. Nefirli Eschkent is sticking a veil. You could nearly see the teeth swimming inside in his mouth for the want of a boyfriend. And she was just about to break a piece off that cake. And her husband said, don't break that cake now. Can't he wait till morning, like the rest of us. But there's no point in arguing with a cranky husband. Oh. 
So they all said their prayers and they went into bed. The one bed. And the wife, she went in by the wall. You know? <laughs> and the Taman, he got in beside her. Mar be air there, we say air for he was jealous of the Taman. <laughs> and the Taman, he got in the outside. And God, you know, that was a narrow enough bit too. <laughs> and when one of them had turned, they'd all have to turn. <laughs> it was going on a bit in the night, and the husband, he had to get up. He suffered from a little frequency <laughs> that runs in families. <laughs> And he used to bring the wife out with him out into the yard. Take it from there. Come on, 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 come on. He used to bring out the wife out with him out into the yard. And of course, she gave out about going out, as she said herself, when she didn't have occasion to go out. And to stick and freezing. And to stick and freezing. And she said she wouldn't go out anymore. So what did the husband do? He cut the heavy cradle with the child inside it. And he put it in between the wife and the tamer. <laughs> and he ran out. And he came back after shedding a tear for Parnell. And he cut the cradle and he put it back up on the floor. Well, the busy night. The cradle in. <laughs> Off again out. And back in again. Well, it was coming up toward four o'clock in the morning. And you could hear the storm rising on Sturm Moor. You could hear the storm rising. And he was in dread for the poor pony that was inside in the makeshift shed. And you know, one danger will make you forget another danger. If you cut your finger, you'll always forget about your toothache. <laughs> and what did he do? He jumped out of the bed, put his two legs down into his shoes, Pat, and he ran out the front door. And he forgot all about the tamer. <laughs> oh. And when he was gone, <laughs> back here he bit. <laughs> <laughs> and when he was gone, she turned to the tamer and she said, Now's your chance. <laughs> so he got up and he ate the cake. Come here, Roger. So, on your knee, was a Shana Kara. Kinta. We were part of a right back called Rami Snahokto Dila Delisal. Yeah, that's a Dokrita. Yeah, Carousel, Desert yeah. Song. <laughs> George M. Sure. Sure. I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess. We two. We two. I got worse than one. Car fag. Biognak. Not a blin. Biognak. Not. Yeah. Aaron Gay. Nah. Well, Biognak. Who me? For a quick blin and then throw a hot blin. A vice of angst. Aaron Gay. Bert Larry. Sure. I guess. I'm not quite able to get into that. Oh. 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 Here. Le. For. For Grelia. I guess. For. For. For the other part. I go Malay. I guess. Ne. 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 Her own. Yeah. Well. That's that's me and he is actually egg fallen. Um. Our auntie. Patrick Villey. Yeah. Mar is us. Nishkehini. The Patrick Villey. I guess is us. Sleeve good. The maher freshen. Oh no. So ta biogna lina dira like a chaff mark. Yeah. So Norvimer ana og. Uh, Down with me. It's on frittle, so, so now we're on. She's not going to go on the air, she's going to go on the air. Oh, my lady, our father, Sleeve Galgo and the Fela, his father, who gave me the, the bright sleeve go ah, of the welcomes. How I miss you so yeah, much. The, the, the Han Garoid, 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 the Han
Shock a slave oh, yeah. again. People don't actually know much about Padre Gomile yeah. and all of the other lovely songs and poems that he actually wrote. He was from Shiv Goa. He course. was from Shiv Goa. Of course, there's no place called, there's no actual place no. called Shiv Goa. It's actually just north of <coughs> Tornina. Yeah. But uh, it was a place where there were many poets and and uh, Dina Lenta and yes. actually took their Shiv Boa. Er, Bua na filirta, Bua an lane, agus Bua an an Bua na fele. So the three, the three uh, virtues of Shli of Gua. When ta- Shli of Gua loi tomorrow, do it with Savini. I guess thought thought Tachter er son Shishkele Tori of Dierma dogs growing. Talking, talking. Can you speak a bit better? Kuigu, Kuigu, you know. Anyway, your two songs, clearly. So the two songs that I've chosen are. One is Aini Nahiha, August the Luig Garod Garev Padrico Mile or Imerka Savratan Vig. So he was he was on he was uh, in Wales back in nineteen twelve. Was he working in the mines? He was he was not working in the mines but in the mine office. Ah right. Yeah, he wasn't actually a miner. Okay. But uh, he, he got a job over in the mine office there in administration. Ah. He had to leave Schlievgoa because they were so oh, poor yeah. there yeah. was no work at the time. No. Um, and he spent about thirteen years in, in, in uh, Wales. But Did anyway, he come back? He came back in 1923. Okay. But before he, he wrote a number of, of, yes. of poems there, which Leif Galgo being one of yeah, them. Yeah. But another one was he was out sitting one night uh, looking through his window and he was listening to the little nightingale singing and he thought this was the most wonderful uh, song he'd ever heard mm. and how beautiful and how simple yeah. life could be. And Aini in the is the name of it. Yeah. And uh, this little, little yeah. ditty is just. Uh, Praising yeah. the song. So on, on Tiangaval song, is there no door, August on Cree. August on Cree. You know, thought she'd good dine on. So, uh, yeah. And then I'll follow that up with another one that he wrote, On Saura Ekfila Oh, yeah. And of course, that's very up to date now yeah. because Ta on Saura Ekfila Gaherin. Yeah. August, uh, all this be, to talk about Aharu uh, Eirada, you know, the yeah. climate change and everything mm-hmm. like that. But this, he puts, da- talks about what was going on in that area, yes. you know, during those times. So you'll hear talk talks about uh, the, 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 the plough and the horses, you know, yeah. going behind the plough and yeah. the, the bees very busy looking for nectar yeah. for the honey and things like that. So it's, it's a lovely, lovely little ditty and I hope you all like right. it and if you know it, uh, join in the course. Yeah. Oh. Ha ainin mildi sho hitim na hi her yagin sitter got triple loch leafa kyol ni spin ya ni klinna minacher ha ga che tinya stand in a vert trailage fall to gus fir her rot ainin na hi ha slime to gun frisha hot ainin makrisha he may not come then a gus thirsha and greegum a gus tear clum do hitachta ainin be an ain a ringle, the wacher a hale, a trash cock filler, the hollows no grain, ya cager militia, hanet le kale, the inner a hirsch a scabble, a reagan. Fall to gus fee her rot, ain in the hea, slant a gun for a shahoot, ain in machrisha. He may not come the nagas, tersher on Gregum, August dear clum the hitachta, ain in. Machiol to a hara, nor hugger or chriha, Brona mariger, wara the chriva, is da merlach the chid kale gadina, O bowling a wara di shen in the hiha. Fall to gus fear rot in the hiha, Slant a gun for a shako den in machrisha. He may not come the nagas, tersher and greegum, Agus dear clum the chidachta in in the hiha. Shinian Kate Kian. And what I want you to notice in this one is the the kanunt nanesha, but it's it's more than that. It's kanunt hivgua. Um, they have their own particular kanunt or, or dialect in Shlievgua, which is part of the Daisha dialect, but is even more of a blast. So um, I think you'll catch that from the way I sing it. Tan gaira katigus graim an gara hin wild te wala hare hapa. An griana tanya vinina faring is fia lachtarik marain le. 
Na meal to couple a kir a gara has shearly dull of a husker. And now wing a titum and roar to miss and sour a filler herring. Hot hive shut hog a hung hilt, a hannah, and a crying egg brack a gun nailed. Nah, he nigg lower to hear a glass of the fire off ragger to hail. More quid back a curtoorish melon, a hoon, a prabus a lame rig. Ground and in it, no down a yimix and sour a filler a herring. I shalt a suger a glor and trug a glor to fuck a gugly gal. Ha neir a cassock and child and scammel their wine to than a elga. Grawl a man am the bond to glass a mugrog a jar of no slater. Be ground and nations ne glown to binger, son sour a filler a herring. Shine a mochig. So, how many so harish nish le Ray McGrath, Ray? Ta on Ta Mike Slownu. Yeah, I guess a few bullet rag, Masha. Yeah, I just uh, want to say thanks to all our all our all our musicians, Kjol Tori. Not bra on Rodde, Pat. Slua moor dar gorge. Sure. If a body is stuck in you. Sure. Rod unta per fault. I stole me. I stole me. I guess a bit scale a gum. A toshi ro yeluk. Sure. I was wondering about what was the connection between the story I was going to tell, which, yes. which was called oh, um, uh, 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 Willie O'Connor, you right. know, the uh, Will o' the Wisp. And I was looking for a sort of link between this afternoon and Shot in the Gwelga. Yeah. And you know what the link was? It has, been, it has been said over and over this afternoon. It's the diaspora. It's the link with the diaspora. Mm. And the, the story I was going to tell was about Shane. You, you remember the I do, story? Yes. Yeah. We far down for the August. Yeah. August yeah. 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 And, and we have four Mount Sinai guys here, at least four Mount Sinai people here today. Uh, and th that's where I first learned it. And then I heard the story about Willie O'Connor in New Brunswick, in Canada. And lo and behold, it was the same story. A few changes here and there. So it was the Blessed Virgin in Skelshena, who came along and saved the day, more or less. We're not quite sure. <laughs> and it was the yeah. frontier, do it yourself sort of thing. Yes. That saved the day for Willie O'Connor. Wonderful story, but not today. So, Tommy Tagaha Kondera on Kyol for him saw, I guess, when we're on a hand of good yours, I'm a Anna Vui of the Kahinia Honig and saw good on Manor, uh, Greenway Manor Hotel, Tommy Buech the Gachainia ha fechent oring a nocht. Agus, Tommy, work especially on the Paul Dwyer, a spot in your pocket, a yen on Skanonu doing in you. So we can, when I finish out, I shall merch, merch, call Tori Old because Tom, Agus, Chair, Agus Hoshvig, Agus, Kathy, Kathy, Niaka, may who say, say, here, Don. So, let me, Dolomach and Ish, let Ryan Kill. Shall we three polka? Three polkas. Thank <laughs> you. 